Hey everyone, this is Dwight from Good Sounds. Today we're going to begin a video series that takes an in-depth look at two programs designed to aid in the process of sound engineering for theatrical productions. These programs are Mikeplot and Palladium and were developed by Chris Hubbard from CH Sound Design. These programs allow the user to input information about their show and then subsequently create a mic plot and a cue list that provide an incredibly efficient method of running sound for a show. These videos assume that you have already installed the programs and are ready to get to work. If you are interested in getting a trial version or if you want to purchase these programs, please let us know. We are a licensed distributor for CH Sound Design and would be happy to assist you in any way we can. We are going to get started today with the first of these two programs called Mikeplot. Mikeplot is a program that you want to use to start inputting information about your show. There's a very comprehensive user guide included in the program that can be found in the help menu. This guide will provide you with a complete account of all the features that Mikeplot offers and easy to follow instructions about how to use those features. We don't expect to touch on every single feature that is available our videos are intended to address the main features and provide a visual experience for our viewers to hopefully assist with understanding the programs a little better. Once you open Mikeplot, you will see the main screen with eight page tabs labeled Show, Characters, Cast, Understudies, Movements, Groups, Mikeplot, and Compare Mikeplots. Each one of these pages has specific information that is input and generated to help you organize your show and determine the best solution for you concerning the use of your wireless microphones. When all of your information is complete, you will have a detailed mic plot that maps out the entire show, how many mics you will need, what characters will be using those mics, any mic swaps that need to take place, and when those mic swaps need to occur. It will also create the foundation for building your cue list in Palladium, which will help you run your show much more efficiently. So let's get started with the show page. At the top of the page, you can see areas where you will add your show information. We can input the name of our show, the production date, the organization producing the show, what mic plot version you are working on, and any notes that you would like to include. Continuing down that main screen, you will see the area where you will populate the pages of your script. You can begin in the detail section on the right side of the screen with choosing the interval, act, scene, page number, and comment fields. Let's start by selecting Act 1. You will see on the left side of the screen in the Script Pages window that the program has added 1 to the Act column. Now let's select a scene number. We are going to choose Scene 1 from the drop-down list. You will see Prologue and Epilogue offered as options as well, but for our demonstration we are going to select Scene 1. Again, you will see that the program has included one in the Scene column of the Script Pages window on the left side of your screen. Now we are going to type 7 in the Page field because our script starts on page 7. And again, you will see Mikeplot autofill the pages in the left window. This is intended to reduce the amount of time it takes to input all of the pages of your script. We can now add some comments to help identify our script in more detail. Here, you can add the names of scenes, or songs, or specific details that occur on this particular page. For our show, we are going to include the name of the song. Once we have finished with our first page, we can move on to the next page where changes need to be made. In our case, page 12 is the end of scene 1, and page 13 is the beginning of scene 2. By left-clicking on page 13 in the script window, we are able to change the information for that page in the details window. We're going to leave Act 1 the same, but select Scene 2 from the drop-down list. We can also add Scene 2 in the comments field just as a reminder. For our show, 
Page 16 is where the next song occurs, so we can follow the same process and click on page 16 in the script pages window. However, in our script, the song doesn't happen until the bottom of the page, so I can split page 16 into top and bottom just to give me some more detail. So after selecting page 16, I can include top after the number in the page field. You will notice on the left side that there are now no more pages after 16 top. If we select the next entry down, we can input 16 bottom into the page field and add our song title to the comments. Selecting the next entry down, we can add 17 to the page field and now the program will autofill the remaining page numbers. We can continue this process with additional scene number changes and additional comments as needed. For the sake of time, let's assume we have input all of our page changes up to page 71. This is the end of our first act. We can select page 71 and in the comments field add end of act 1. This is where the interval field in the details page can come into play. If we select page 72 from the left window, and select Interval from the Details window, MikePlot will insert a blank page into your script pages. This is important to the program being able to create a mic plot more effectively because this interval will be a great place to conduct any mic swaps between acts. You will see, however, that we lose page 72 in the left window. We can easily fix that problem by selecting page 73, changing the Act field to Act 2, the scene to number 1, and the page number to 72. Again, the program will autofill the remaining pages. We can also add any comments that we choose. Once again, for the sake of time, let's assume we have completed all the changes we need for the rest of our script. Our particular script ends on page 124. We can select page 124 and add end of show to the comments field. Now we can select page 125 and remove all the details from all of the detail fields. The drop down list for the act and scene fields have a blank selection at the top of the list. Selecting those will remove information from those fields. Now deleting page 125 from the page field will produce an asterisk at the end of the script pages indicating that 124 is our last page. As a side note, right clicking on any page in the script pages window will give you a menu with three choices. Insert, Delete, and Tidy. The first two options should be pretty self-explanatory, allowing you to insert or delete any page entry. Selecting Tidy will clean up the page list by removing any empty pages from the list. As always, make sure to save your information throughout this process so that you don't lose any of your work. Join us for our next video where we will demonstrate how to complete the pages that deal with the cast and characters of your show. If you need any assistance with MikePlot or Palladium, or would like to purchase these programs, let us know. We would be happy to help in any way we can. Check us out on Facebook or at GoodSoundDesign.com. Thanks for joining us, and remember, if it can't be heard, it can't be good.